We <laughs> don't know what this guy's doing down here. He's so excited to be moving in. Look, they're at it again. What are they doing? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to City Skylines with me, Biffa, here in Blighty on the Wold. And we're going to dive straight in with some fixes for this new shopping area that you've suggested to me. Very busy. Lots of people enjoying using this. And then we're going to use a brand new type of house that we haven't used at all so far in Blighty on the Wold, which is going to extend our population and it's going to look lovely. I think it is afterwards. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. You'd have to let me know what you think. So first of all, let's dive in with our first suggested fix. So first of all, we have from Hugo Vidal. I think it's a shame we didn't use the Meteor Plaza in reference to the Meteor Crash. Also, a huge cinema complex would be nice. Keep going. Thank you, Hugo, for your comments. And yeah, I am definitely going to keep going. And I think that is a very good idea. Now, if we just have a look at the size, if we come over here, of the Meteor Park, it is a rather large item. Um, and also, if we look at the cinema, we've got this one here, which came with one of the DLCs, I can't remember. I think that will go in very well. Uh, somebody else mentioned the Nandos, but the only Nandos we've got is built in with this coral building. I'm not sure that building is going to fit in. So we're going to skip the Nandos. But also bowling was mentioned as well. So maybe we could squeeze this 3 by 2 bowling alley in. Now I'm thinking of utilising this bit of space over here. Although we are going to be connecting these roads up. We'll come back to that in a moment. But I think let's flatten this out a bit. I'm going to push this land back over here. It might mean that we end up with some sort of retaining wall. But that's fine. Population's growing nicely, which is just what we want to see. Um, let's see what this looks like if we just sort of push this back and how much space we're going to get. So what I don't want to do is mess too much with what we've got going on over here. Yeah, that's going to sort of square off there anyway, but that gives us a nice big piece of land. In fact, I'm thinking I might just go all the way back to this road and all the way down there. And then we can sort of have this area dug out with a bit of a wall by the side. Let's remove all the trees as well. And we'll leave those few trees over there. Because that's sort of blocking looking over here to the trash collection that we've got. And there was something else that I wanted to do. Which was also based on another comment. Uh, this was from... Here we go, Ryder Lynch. One possible change you might want to consider is the addition of a trucks only entry and exit, leaving the main entrance road for shoppers to alleviate the traffic into the shopping centre. Yeah, there we go. And then um, Will Meister says, I just used the existing one going to the waste transfer buildings, to be honest. So that is a very good idea. If we look over here, we do have this road connection going in and out. And actually, looking at this now, we could attach that up here couldn't we uh, no problem at all let's just see what we can do here so use the grab a grab a mod to grab that and we're going to bring that up hopefully in a nice slope and then i'm going to curve this around and see if we can join this up uh, over here so i'm thinking the planning department you know this is a this is a nice main road that goes into our oil area over here and rather attached to there we can attach to this side road here which I don't think will be um, an issue. Um, what I would like is some sort of asymmetric road here, but we don't have it. If I add on a four-lane road going in each direction, that sort of gives us a little bit of extra yeah, lanes coming in and out. We'll go with that. We're also going to uh, remove that node that's right there, and then we're going to use no controller just to sort of square that off and make it a little bit bigger. There we go. All these cars are going to wonder what's going on. And we have traffic lights here. So I'd like to keep this as the main route going through. So I'm going to make these give way. Everybody else can carry on. And you just think about it and get it going when you're ready. So now the trucks can come in this way. They can follow around the one-way road to service all the shops uh, in the area. Or drop off at the service points, which I think is more likely what they're doing. And then what we can do is ban trucks on this road. So that's going to sort of keep this as pedestrian as possible, which is what we really want to do. So uh, if we just take that, 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 and that. If I hold shift, yes, it will go all the way up the road. So let me just do that. 
There we go. Excellent. So that should have gone all the way up to the end. Very good. So now any trucks coming in from this roundabout will be able to go down there, turn in here. A little bit more of a convoluted route, but we'll go with that. That will be fine. So now let's have a look at this area and see how we can turn this into an entertainment plaza. And that will be an auto save. Let us have a quick sip of tea. And also don't forget to check out bifferplaysmerch.com for your autosave sip of tea merchandise. So let's have a look at what retaining walls we've got available to us. I'm thinking we'll just go for a standard key wall. Although we do have a couple of others here. Old stone key plane. Hard to see what that looks like. Sort of look in the picture. Maybe sort of try something. Let's go with this one. Stone key plane. Yeah, why not? Um, and then we're going to use this tool here, the Create Parallel Mode. And we're going to come all the way from there, all the way past here, and all the way down there. That's on the other side of the road. So I'm going to do this. I know you can press Tab to alternate which side of the road it's on, but my Tab does other things. Um, and then I'm going to move that a little bit closer with the minus key. And hopefully get that right up against there. How does that look? We'll sort out the land in a minute. I think we might need to just reverse that segment around, but that is looking okay. Let me just see if I can do a bit of work on the ground and push this all back nice and flat. Yeah, this segment here needs to be switched around. So there's a nice tool in here which will do that for us as well, which is one of these invert segments. There we go. So we do that, we do that. There we go. Look at that. That looks exactly as it should. I think that's fine coming down to the end there. Let me just see if I can push back a little bit more of the land i think that is about as much as we're gonna get excellent and i'll do some decorating there i might just with this bit here let's grab that end piece i feel like i want to just bring that up to there that's good does that have a that doesn't have a fence on it or anything does it hmm maybe i want to change that for one with a fence and then do we want to have stairs to get down here i mean no one's going to be walking from this direction but i'm just thinking for the safety point of view cars driving down here going off the end people dropping off there would not be very safe would it let me just see if i can find actually i like this slightly darker one we're going to go for that anyway so let's change that all the way around here and then what i'm going to do is we're going to use the same tool but we're going to put a fence oh i wonder if i could use something like this i think this would look a lot better um, let's have a look. Let's select that one there. That's no terrain conforming. I'm not quite sure which one I want. I don't know if this is going to work. And then we'll do the same again. So we'll have that there. But we're going to go... So that went on the right-hand side, yeah. So we go from there. And we're going to go all the way up to the end there. And press Enter. And let's just have a look at that. Oh, yeah, that is much better, isn't it? I mean, it's it's a low it's a low wall. But I think we're going to go with that. We don't want it too high. People that have got brains aren't going to jump over the top of that, are they? I'll just finish this little bit off the end here. Oh, ooh, uh, hang on, hang on. I think that's probably as good as we'll do there. That's fine. Yeah, that looks good all the way down there. That continues all the way to the end, and it sort of <laughs> sinks underneath. Oh, maybe I should have used a slightly different version. But anyway, I'll sort that out, and then we'll carry on building in here. Okay, a lot less trucks coming down here, which is great. So that's really going to help people over here. An issue I had last time was putting crossings over here for people to be able to walk through instead of all the way round. Um, let's just see whether we can do this. We've got nodes. Oh, no, we've got these in here now, haven't we? Yeah, that's good. If I take that... See, that doesn't let me change it to a crossing, which is a little bit odd. See, all the markings are on. So I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. Whether it's the choice of road that we have. Um, let's just have another look through here, what we've got. So we've got these roundabout roads. Ah, oh, you remember the roundabout roads? Everybody loves using those because they just cross all the time. Yeah, that still doesn't add a crossing in, does it? Well, we know they can cross there. It's fine with a pedestrian road. So hopefully we'll see some people doing that. Right, let's come over here. So we're going to take this one here and we're going to bring that out this way and continue with our pedestrian styled area. There we go. So they can get through onto here, which is good. We might add a crossing path over at some point. We shall see. And we want to make the center of this area or part of the center of this area this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that there. 
We're going to grab this, and I want to go around the outside, and I'm going to leave a gap of two. There we go. Not square, but it's set up to work right with the shape of this. It all, it all makes sense in my brain. You just don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, so we've got the Meteor Park. Oh, we don't want that dish. Then we've got our cinema. So we've got this one here, which is the Rail Yard Shopping Center with cinema, um, which actually would probably fit over the back here. Building already exists. So, I mean, you know, I mean, we could probably do something to make it work, but... I don't know, let's try building all that exists. Oh, darn it. So that means I've got to find where the building is and clone it because I don't think any type of anarchy is going to let me place that again. Oh, man, alive. Where the heck is this cinema? 2,000 years later. Oh, I found it. It's all the way here on the other side of the road. Excellent. So what we can do is, if we use the Move It mods... There we go. We can click that as it selected it. Yep, and copy it. Aha! You can't stop me, game, from doing what I want. And then we can place this down over here. Uh, do I want that there right next to the shops where they're coming in? Or we're going to need some sort of... I'm going to say parking, but actually you can't park here. You can park over there, can't you? So I'm thinking of maybe utilising this sort of corner plot like that how does that look like oh man that's like looks weird doesn't it let's make that the same height as that there we go how does that look like from the road is what i was going to say so we're coming in here what do you see you see the back of a building and you see that thing over there no it's not going to stay there we're going to possibly put it over here instead there we go we come out of that view back to ye olde move it mods and let's try could over here it's sunk far enough down but I don't think you're going to be worried about the back of this. And we can plant some trees and things as well. I think that'll be okay. And yeah, anybody coming down the train line, they've already seen all of this. Just having their blue, uh, blue? <laughs> having their view blocked a little bit. That's where the B came from with the cinema here, I think is okay. Um, let's get that right on the corner there. We're getting a bit of a warning. We're going to need to expand. Here we go. Our pedestrian area. Zoink! There we go. And I want to just take that off that road there. I don't think that's going to cause any issues, but that'll do. Let's get some water up here for these fine folk. Okay, what is next? We have our bowling alley. Um, I'd like to go with that. I mean, it is a very small building, but I think that will work okay. Although it looks to me like that should be the front of the building, but it isn't. That is... Where's like the door? Oh, there's the door in. Yeah, there. Okay. Um, so maybe our bowling alley, that could just sort of go over here, right next to the cinema. I'll leave a little bit of space. Yakso! Advertising on there as well. Andy's, there we go. Andy's bowling alley. Excellent. I'd like to take these Yakso things off. Or should we leave them on? No, that's okay. That'll be fine. People are already loving coming up here, which is great. We've got a few more things that I want to add. Um, we've got... Uh, a pub here, the Holly Bush, which I know we've got other places in our city, but I'm thinking people will come here and want to eat. Um, you know, before going into the cinema and maybe going bowling, which is good. Um, I'd like to put in a travel lodge as well. We've got all the parking over there, so people can easily sort of park here and wheel their cases over and stay at the travel lodge if they wish. I'm just wondering actually whether that's going to fit in now that i picked it i was hoping it was going to be a little bit smaller let's just pop that up against here maybe sort of there we're going to do a bit of decorating around it anyway and then we're going to use oh man it's been so long bob there we go house alarm satellite dish parking space number one probability zero tick spark parking space is number two not sparking paces there we go. Excellent. And then we'll do some decorating around there. Good. And then also at public toilets. So we've got all of these places here. Some public toilets. What have we got? We've got this one here, which is sort of a... Let's pop it down and have a look. Oh, it's got a tree. It's got a door that side. It's got the doors this side. That one actually could be quite good. And I'm not going to put that next to the pub. I want to move that. That's going to go over this side. Yeah, that's going to go there. Excellent. 
And what else have we got? I like this as well. The Korea Food uh, Alley. That's the last word I was looking for. And I'm thinking whether we could just sort of pop that up against there. So it's just like another little attraction people can come and see. Uh, they can walk all the way through so we could maybe get some more walking roads going around there. We'll get to that in a minute. So we've done that, done that, done that. Yeah, I had the official park as well sort of in there. But then we've got this here. So maybe not that as well. But I am thinking another shopping area over here. Um, there was an Audi, which was nice and very small. And I was thinking maybe something like that in there. And again, Alt-B, get Bob, remove the parking spaces. Number one, probability zero. Parking spaces number two, probability zero, because we've got all the parking over there. And I just think that just sort of made sense to me. I know we've got big shopping with the Morrisons. We've got some shopping over here as well. I think that'll be good. Let's just see what we can do with our roads. What I'd like to grab is... So that small blue stone one, is that the middle one? It is. Oh, this, this is the small road. I thought there was a, a thinner road. So can I do that? I can. Can I sort of move that to the middle? I can. Excellent. I can do all the things. Um, so I want brush, concrete. There we go. We'll go for the one by one. We'll just fill these bits in and then we'll probably put some trees and stuff excellent around there so that looks good doesn't it i'm liking that and then we've got a little bit of space over here and uh, maybe we could put some sort of park asset in there nice little plaza with trees i think that'll fit in there nicely excellent and then we can decorate around here as well and really smart on this up but i think that is looking pretty good and definitely the let's have a look here the land value is going to be skyrocketing through this area so overall average land value is 70 whatever those are meters squared uh, if we actually have a look in here this is 84 so this is higher uh, 84 is the same thing kings down center yeah that won't tell us there will it so yeah 84 that is probably one of the highest in the whole area i would imagine but yeah we'll go with that So we're going to plant a lot of whatever this is all the way along here because it's going to cover up uh, what we've got going on down here. Let's pop that in there. There we go. And also it's sort of going to hold back uh, all of this mud and dirt that we've got along here. So other than the ones I've accidentally put on here which are going to overlap. There we go. The railway line. I think that looks okay. Nice wall of green over there. This over here is just going to stay like it is. That's fine. And yeah, it's looking like it should be here. As in the whole area, you know what I mean? It, it looks like it fits. It's looking good. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. It's looking good. I feel like I need a few more trees uh, along the road up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start over here and we're going to use intersection marking tool. We could actually draw some of these lines in. But what I'm going to do is I am going to take... Yeah, it's a shame we can't sort of add any more points. Or can we? No, we can't. So I'm going to take uh, this point here. We're going to have a line. That is going to be a tree. And we're going to use... Oh, which one are we going to use? We've got a nice big order trees as we were going for orders. What other orders do we have? Nope, can't scroll. I was hoping I could use my scroll wheel on there to pick different ones. Nope, we can't. If any of the mod makers are watching, you know, little things like that, well, that would be uh, that would be far too big for this road. Want something nice and thin and tall. Yeah, something like that. 
Okay, we're going to go for more options. Um, and then over here, we've got shift. And we're going to go like this. Scroll, 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 scroll. And we're going to get that just behind this wall here. I would like them slightly further apart. So if I go step bigger, we go eight meters like that. That's fine. So I am going to copy those markings like that. And then if we come out of there and go along here, I should be able to. Do I need to do the whole line? I probably do, unless I do this. We'll go back into here again. We'll make save as a preset. There we go. And we'll call that tree on road. Tree on road. There we go. Excellent. And then we should be able to go through here and go presets and say tree on road. Hey! excellent it is on the wrong side of the road so if i drag that one there and the green one in and that one there uh and then the green one over here and then the red one over there what <laughs> yeah i'm thinking there's maybe a better way to do this don't apply of course there's a button at the top turn clockwise so we're going to do enter and then we're just going to go all the way along here and add on Triant world um and see what it looks like afterwards there we go, all the way down Broad Avenue as well. That is looking very, very swish. I don't know what we're going to do with that little section over there. We're going to leave that for now. But yeah, I'm thinking that is looking nice. Just a little bit. I'm going to just do a, a teeny tiny. I've got a place, at least a little bit of concrete uh, every now and again. So if we go in here and grab this one. going to finish this off over here with one more tree just to stop people walking through there yeah there we go i think that looks really nice that was an excellent suggestion thank you very much i think that's really added a little something something to our shopping area over here brilliant so now we need to move on to the other exciting thing i said we we're going to be working on today and that was working with these and welcome back to tonight's episode of doctor who where the earth is under threat from teleporting automobiles yes these are, these are the houses we're going to use i've just laid some of them out here um these have been designed and made and put together by rick 4000 and i have to say these models are absolutely spiffing they're delicious i love them look at the detail on these thatched roofs they are just brilliant what is going on with the uh teleporting cars outside i have absolutely no idea this is a road to nowhere by the way <laughs> i just popped this one down to put these on let's have a look at some of these they are great so these sort of give me the vibe of either houses that have been converted and sort of done up and they used to be sort of old cottages with a thatched roof or maybe even a new house and they've decided to go for the thatched roof look although i'll be honest mostly it's going to be old converted houses uh, barns and things i'll tell you why when we get down here but these are really good this one's got a conservatory out the back as well oh, so is that one so we need to work on some gardens for these which will be nice let's have a look at this one here another one with a double garage really looking good i love the detail zoom in a bit here the detail with the brick and the little alarm thing above there that is just absolutely spot on so we've got this one here that hasn't been converted so this is the old sort of cottage style that it would have looked like with the old plaster. And then someone comes along, buys it, takes the render off, and it's got this brick underneath. And then they convert the loft, so they've got a couple of extra dormers at the top there. <laughs> that one is really run down. Let's have a look around the back. Oh, dear. Oh, man. Yeah, I'd I've looked at houses like this, you know. We're sort of trying to move house at the moment, and we just need more space. Everyone's growing up and growing bigger. And it was like an old pub. Or used to be a pub and, and uh yeah it was a right disaster so anyway um let's have a look at this one here very good very nice and we've got a couple more this one looks a bit more like what you'd find perhaps in scotland with the sort of brick this looks really old brick on this one very dark windows maybe they've gone out turn the lights off but yeah these are looking good so all of these thatched houses we want to build in an area now Oh, this is really nice. Look at that sort of oak panelled. Oh, let down by the green lime door. <laughs> Never mind. But I like the oak panel uh, garage doors there. Very good. Right, excellent. Yeah, so 
where are we going to build these? We've got a little village over here um, that we have been working on. Let's close that down so we can see it's our high bicky, of course. Um, but we don't have a huge amount of space. You can see what we've got left to build on. Uh, all of this over here is a bit sort of a mess, to be honest. Um, there is space for, I don't know, maybe a second village over this side. Um, that is all very, very slopey. This is all filled up. Oh, slight aside. Sorry, while I think of it, you probably notice these uh, rubbish signs that are over the top here. We've got rubbish capacity for days. Uh, they are in the zone. They're in the correct zone. And here's the rest of the zone. Uh, we put in here uh, this recycling center right next to the garbage point. They're not using it. What is the problem? There seems to be an issue... Uh, with the pedestrian roads, if you put something on the end here like this, it will never get its rubbish collected. Very weird. I'm going to let them know about that. You see all the, <laughs> all the rubbish bins building up outside. But if that was a normal road, that would work. But, yeah, so if you notice, it's always the ones on the end. This one here, I reset the building to do a little test. But it's always the ones on the end all the way around. So, um, yeah, they might just never have to get their uh, their rubbish collected. Anywho, yeah, so this is all sort of filled up. We've got a little bit of space here, very slopey. So I think it is going to be a continuation of High Bicky. And we do have this road coming out here. And I'm thinking we could do something nice with this area here. We seem to have... By the way, still trying to get to our metropolis of 70,000. Yeah, we're going to get there one time soon, but I'm not quite sure when. Lots of oil over here, so that is all going to go... Because as we know with our map theme, this is the oil here that gives a different texture to the fields. We want to try and get it in with the green here. I think that is also uh, fertile land there as well, isn't it? So if we get rid of that, yeah, then we'll get back to the normal sort of grassy look, which is what I want. Yeah, there we go. The normal, very green, grassy look. Excellent. Right, so just looking at the village of High Bicky here and just sort of working out how we want to fit these nice thatch buildings in um we've got this little estate of course that we built over here a while ago which is really good and i'm thinking that is going to expand around this way and sort of fill this little village out a bit or maybe there'll be a gap here and then we'll have some more houses down here and um, because if we sort of zoom out we can see we've got all of these trees which are demarcating the fields that we've got in the area so you know in our hypothetical situation we had a farmer that was working out here maybe this guy here and he's been selling off parcels of land um so i'm thinking of keeping this demarcation oh jumpy game of trees that goes down here um, and we can have a road that runs up there, links into, let's have a look, the main road, yeah, comes through there, then it sort of loops around, doesn't it? So we could use this road, hook it in, let's have a look, what road options do we have? I was thinking of this one, it's a 1U road, I don't know if it's going to be wide enough, but if we sort of go along, let's turn off all the snapping, and sort of run that along here, that'll do, like that. Oh, I do not like the trees on there. We'll be changing those. And then we're going to connect this road up to here. Although I'm going to just make that ever so slightly larger. Let's go for this here. <laughs> I can't remember which side of the road I drive on. <laughs> we drive on the left side of the road. Yeah, okay, that's good. This is the, this is the thing when you switch from um, <laughs> playing in an American city and then playing in a British city. It like catches me out every time. So that is perfect. That goes into there. We've got the, the two-way. If this gets busy, do you know what? I'm actually going to upgrade this one this way. So we're going to have a dedicated turn going in there. And I'm even going to do it on this side in preparation. So I'll be that way around for what's going on. And then we'll have these trees going down here. Is there... Actually, we'll leave the trees off there. But it leaves it nice and clear going through, which is good. And then this line of trees down here. I think I might actually leave these bushes in. And then we're just going to go for... Mm, what should we go for? Yeah, looking through my UK tree brush uh, that we use with a variety of trees, we've got these hazels, which I think look really good. So this hazel here, it's tall enough. And yeah, I think that'll... You know, it's not too bushy at the, the bottom end. And we can sort of run that alongside here like that so that is the demarcation between here that house there is ever so slightly overlapping but you know what there is space so we're going to move that down 
and we're going to move you down there. Excellent. So then we're going to do the move it mods. We're going to grab that. We're going to copy it. And we're going to place one in there. So then if you're living in this house here. Yep, yeah, you've got trees. You can see through. It's not too bad. Not overshadowing you too much. But blocking the sound of what perhaps could be a slightly busier road. And this is going to connect to where? So we've got the trains coming through here. We do have very close to the train line some trees. No, they're doing okay. Hmm. I wanted this to connect over here somewhere, but I don't want it to connect. Do we want it to connect to the oil industry? I think it makes sense that it connects up to this road here. There we go. Something like that. So I'm hoping that trucks won't go this way. There's no reason for them to do that. This is definitely the quickest way to get onto the highway, to get delivering and all that sort of thing. So at some point our village will stop and then we'll have some buffer between this and the oil industry. So that's okay there. So then I'm just thinking coming off the other side, uh, we do have our rural country road. We've got these ones. Just see if there's any sort of slightly rural looking ones that are asymmetric as well i don't think there is is there which is a little bit annoying so it might be that we have to just go for a asymmetric let's have a look slightly smaller road like this probably that one build off of here somewhere let's have the road off of here so it's a little bit further down we'll turn that around so that matches into there that's okay and then we can sort of go rural road the word that I <laughs> hate saying the most. Uh, and which one are we going to use? We've got that one. We've got... So that's the one with the trees. That's the one without the tree. So we could go tree for the main road. There we go. Just something simple like that. Connects to the road in each direction. Is that trucks coming down this way? Right, it is. Even though this is like the slowest road known to mankind. I don't know what speed this is. Exporting oil products. Hmm. Yeah, what we are going to do is we are going to ban any trucks coming down this road. Because that is not what we want going through the village. That's the banned parking one. No, it isn't. Click. I've got to click on here. Oh, do you know what? It's, <laughs> it's early in the morning. I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, vehicle restriction. So I clicked on there. Nothing came up. So it wasn't just me. There we go. So we're going to ban any trucks coming through there. And hopefully that will stop this guy who's heading. Let's just see where he's actually heading to. So he's coming down here through the village all the way up there. All the way down here. Is it auto saving in the background? And then getting on the highway? Yeah, maybe not what we wanted to do, but hey ho. So then let's put like a little estate in here with our other rural road. If I say it's slow enough, it's fine. This one here. And then we can start putting some of those lovely thatched houses in here. Yeah, I'm changing up the roads. We're not going to go for these sort of muddy ones like this. I'm going to keep those for farms and stuff. We've got this one here, which is from the UK Roads Revisited. Rural A Road. Plenty of R's in that one to get my teeth around. And then we've got this one here, which is a, uh, it's down at 60 mile an hour, which actually is pretty much what country roads are um, in the UK. But it's got this nice little brick wall by the sides. Yes, it's unbelievable, I know. But teeny tiny roads like this can be 60 miles an hour. And they have a wall down by the side and they're very thin and very small. So we're going to go for that through there. There's not any asymmetric. And do you know what? I'm... Yeah, we're going to leave it like that. That's fine. And then this one over here, I'm going to change all of these for this road. And I've sort of gone for this design. So it's, it's a designed... Uh, there we go. Deliberately designed area. Um, but it's still sort of trying to stick with the rural theme that we've got going on here. That is the idea. Now, let's just have a look at a couple of these. Because as we said before, they don't have any gardens. So I'm just sort of wondering... You know, this isn't going to be a big estate. We're going to have, like, maybe a house there. I've got my random key set. Have a night. And just sort of 
go through. So that's a smaller one that can fit in there. Then we'll get another one there. Then we'll put another one not quite opposite. That's a big one that can go there. And I'm just sort of randomly going through the options that we've got. That's it. I want a smaller one there. So we end up with sort of something like that. So I mean, that would be a nice... Nice sort of place to live in. Got some trees around as well. We can definitely do some decorations and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So let me lay some out and then we might just sort of maneuver some around a little bit and see what it looks like. There we go. Excellent. Let's just check the power. The power's going to jump across. Okay, very good. There we go. So... Yeah, this is sort of the rough idea I've come up with at the moment. We <laughs> don't know what this guy's doing down here. He's so excited to be moving in to one of his new houses. He just can't decide where to park. So once again, uh, yeah, that's going on. Okay, so yeah, this is what I'm sort of thinking of. And then for gardens, I mean, it's going to be interesting because I think some of them are going to have side gardens. Um, let's just come out here and just have a quick look because we've got those pre-made gardens that we've seen before like these ones uh, one times two is that a <laughs> it said one times two but there's three gardens in it is there anything on here that tells me how many gardens are in here three by four a three by four purely decorative one wide Three gardens. Ah, there we go. It actually says on the name up there, four gardens. So I want to find some one gardens. Yeah, the one gardens are very, very small. So these are definitely more for terraced houses. So I think it's going to be a case of... Oh, my life. Oh, my life. A very highly detailed stream or something coming up at some point in the future where we just detail these. <laughs> Look, they're at it again. What are they doing? It's something to do with the parking thing, isn't it? I don't know why. I mean, they've got nowhere to park in here. So it might be that they're saying, we live here, but we can't park outside our own house. So mm, that's slightly annoying. I wonder if we could help them out here and say, oh man, my money. I've been spending so much money. If we did something like this and said, you can park there, but now you can like easily walk across to where you live, whether that would assist them in their quest to decide whether they're going to park there or not. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I reckon a future stream, we're going to detail this thing up. And also, we need a name for it as well. So this is going to probably expand, I think, all the way up to here. Oh, look at that. The only time you can get a straight line <laughs> on your district is right up against the end of the map. Cranbrook. What do you think of that sort of name? Can we sort of tify that name at all? Let me know in the comments below what you think. And before you go, make sure you subscribe as well to be back for a live stream, hopefully in the future very soon, where we sort this all out. And I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Wow, we've covered a lot in this episode. If you've enjoyed it, a like is always appreciated. And then check the next video out on the screen. I will see you all very soon. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.